Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. It's me, Cooper, and me and the Resistance are going through uh, this island of whatever it's called, and we're going to continue our attack on the enemy. Now, right now, what we really need to do is change up our forces because we got new members last episode. So, I'm going to introduce you guys to the new members. We got Blackland Fire Dragon and Silver Fang. There we go. Silver Fang will be joining Yugi's army because I said so. And then I'm... Mm, and then Feral Imp, despite how cool he is, might get left behind for Blackland Fire Dragon. Yes. Blackland Fire Dragon might just be better. I know it's only level 1 now, but trust me. He might just be better. And I'm going to go ahead... And put on, let's see, I'm going to move you over here, probably. Let's replace you with Celtic Guardian. There we go, just go up to attack points. Celtic Guardian's our strongest monster. Our second strongest is Blackland Fire Dragon. Now, moving on to our next forces, we have good old Simon. Simon, you will be gaining the, what is it called? You will be gaining the Feral Imp. He will be joining your army. And he will be the one... I always do this wrong for some reason. And he will be the one that goes in your attacking area. So that you can move your forces a little faster. And of course, don't think I forgot about Fizdiz. Her monsters are god-awful. But I mean, I like Penguin Soldier having four attacks. Uh, her monsters are still technically stronger than the other two. So, enjoy your monsters. Also, I'm going to... Whoops, I made one mistake. I forgot to show you guys how to put on items. Putting on items is very important in this game, so let me go ahead and show you. You go over to Yugi. You pick your character that is most likely going to be an item user, so I'm going to pick you. I press the Z button, and I give him the blue medicine to hold. Then I go over to Simon's army. I go to you. And looking at your forces, uh, your beaver warrior does less damage than your zombie warrior, just by a little bit. So, I'm going to have him be your tank, and he's going to be your healer. And then, Monster Reborn. Uh, it's such a good item. I probably should give it to Yugi. But the problem is, it's an item that's, uh... Yeah. It's an item that's, you know, it takes up a turn, and it's really good. The odds of them killing our boss monster, Celtic Guardian, is pretty hard. So, I think we could give it to Celtic Guardian. I think we're ready for the next battle, everybody. Now, this is going to be the first real battle in the game. So you're going to need to pay attention and you're going to need to play fast. Real-time strategy games will not wait for you. You must keep up. So let's start the battle. And hopefully it all goes well. So here we go. We are now in this area. It's awfully quiet out here. Yes, we seem to be lucky. The enemy doesn't seem to know we're here yet. According to our scouts, the closest fort isn't guarded at all. Let's use this opportunity to take the fort uh, to take the fort and fortify a defensive position. He's not wrong. That is a good idea. But there is something else I actually would like to do as well. Oh, there's a traitor here. Ooh. Okay, we can buy more blue medicines. That's pretty important. I'm not even joking. I don't like Goblin Secret Remedy. We're going to buy Monster Reborns as well. They're expensive, though, so don't buy too many. Uh, blue medicines, though, buy a lot. Those are really important. Uh, thanks to Fizdiz's uh, discount, we actually got a good price on those. Um, Yugi, I think I might want you to... Mm. I don't know exactly where I would want Yugi to go. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of interesting places here. But none more interesting than this place over here. So it's a little bit strange, but I'm going to have Yugi go all the way to this corner over here. It's, I, I know, I'm sending my best guy to a weird place. Uh, then I'm going to send Simon to go and take this fort. Now, when I do this, we're going to be leaving our fort a little unguarded. Luckily, we do have Fizdiz, and she could fight back. She hasn't gained, uh, gained any levels, which kind of sucks, but she definitely can fight back against any of the enemy forces. Now, you can ch check it out. Look, the flying force is slightly faster than the walking force, and now they're getting in the way of each other. Hold up. Yeah, your forces could actually just straight up get in the way of each other. It kind of sucks sometimes. But we're going to go ahead and start moving them into position. Honestly, Yugi could take this place too, to be honest. He's going to have to stop there anyway. So we're going to have our two forces race there. Feralimp versus Celtic Guardian. Let's see who wins. I could zoom out, zoom in. Look at that. Look how, look how they look. Come on, you can do it, Celtic Guardian. Keep up. 
For the love of God, start running. The Pharaoh Limp's kind of just, you know, me meandering and you're still losing. Move faster. Jump for crying out. Throw the sword at him. All right. By capturing this area, we successfully taken the fort and there are, the few guards that were here have run off. It won't be long before they learn of the attack, which means that we're actually going to get attacked. So, what we should do is we should install defenses. We go to equipment, and this can be used to attack flying enemies. This can be used to attack nearby ground enemies. It's all pretty helpful stuff. So, I'm going to give ourselves an anti-ground cannon. It takes a little while to build, but once we have it ready to go, it'll be helpful. You can build two items on every base. Now, this is a ground enemy, a really powerful one, actually. So, hopefully, Simon can handle it, because I'm sending Yugi somewhere else. All right, Yugi, you're going all the way over here to this grass, and you just have to trust me on it. The cannons aren't ready yet, so this enemy will be able to attack us. Looking at what he has, he has a level 2 monster. All of his monsters are actually quite strong, except for the lobster. However, I'm not too scared. What are their abilities? Let's see. Club Scissors, Guardian Blade, Savage. Their stats are pretty high. Simon's going to have a real fight ahead of him. Let's see what kind of forces we, we have to deal with. I could have built defenses to increase our monster's defenses within the base, but I didn't. Hmm. You know what? First thing you should always do is info up your opponent's monsters. Because, yes, they do hold medicine. So, now items are in the battle. You want to do this. Kill the healer. That is your goal. Kill the healer because the healer is the most annoying person in the army. Once the healer is dead, then you could go back to your day. <laughs> Until you kill that healer, you will lose the fight. Trust me. So, Beaver Warrior, everybody kill the healer. Oh, come on! How unlucky can a guy get? Uh, I don't know what the chances of are of missing, but it happens at the worst possible times, as you guys will see. That Savage Shadow Slash does hurt, so get ready. For oh, Feralum's pretty tanky. Beaver Warrior might be the be best tank we have, but that guy's pretty tanky. All right, if I do this attack, it might be a little too aggressive because then he might heal himself, which is the not not what we want to have happen. But there's a chance I can kill him before he gets another turn. Honestly, we would have killed him if Beaver Warrior didn't miss. And this is why. Yep, if Beaver Warrior didn't miss, we would have killed him. But I went too aggressive. I should have adapted to the situation. That's on me. Uh, his life points might still be too low anyway, so we can just go after him again because he'll heal again. Um, but we wasted a lot of attacks. He's just guarding, he's guarding. He's gaining a lot of points just through guards. But if you kill an opponent's monster, you get a ton of points. I can't remember. Are you kidding me? Two misses. What are the odds? Oh, God, we're going to lose this fight. Ah, Feral Lamp, take the hit, please. I might need to call Fizdiz out. He got another guard. Blue Mess, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, there's no way we win this fight. Absolutely no way. With, all, with the amount of misses... Oh my god! There's gotta be something else going on. Something I don't know about. Am I cursed? Are you guys watching cursing me? How dare you? Why would you hex me like this? What did I ever do to you? Except everything. Alright. So luckily, even though we lost the fight, we still hold the base. You don't lose the base for losing a fight. You must lose your entire... All the forces within the base must die for you to lose a base. So, he's fine. Hopefully that uh, turtle thing will set up faster. Because he needs... Yeah, he really needs it. Alright. Simon, don't you worry. I'm thinking of sending Fizdiz out to attack the main base, even with her weak forces. Feral Limb, can you kill the healer before he gets a heal off? Maybe get a crit since I... I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I did. I don't know where the curse has come from, but it can't be that. Okay, they used up all their medicine. I wasted all my attacks because I I couldn't hit a single one. I just I just I just can't. I mean, it's impossible. Granted, if I only I, I messed up either way, but if I had just not missed that one attack with Beaver Warrior, we wouldn't be dealing with any heals right now. We would have just been going off on with our business, and instead we're gonna take on the two strongest things: that trap monster and Kai Rule. A very defensive monster. Doesn't hit too hard, but it's defensive. Alright. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that freaking lobster so we can get some points. Alright. You get some points. Okay, it wasn't a lot of points. I need more than that. Um, the next biggest threat is their boss monster, so we're going to take that out. The other guy's tanky anyway, so... 
If they're both going to be tanky, we might as well take out the threatening tanky one. Guardian Blade. Oh, the way that snake moves is so creepy. Holy shit! I get a million misses, you get a crit? Who made this game? <laughs> Who made the game like this? Who do I blame? What's going on here? All right, Skull Servant's going in to try and take out the enemy. And to think, this is my second strongest force. If it falls, we're in a lot of trouble. The enemy still has way more forces than us, and that's without the reinforcements. So we need to take them out quickly. This fight was supposed to be so much easier. We kill the healer, and then we can move on to the other ones. But instead, we're dealing with this crap. How much did that do? Everyone's below half now. I do have a healer, luckily, but it still sucks. Sucky situation to be in. Alright, 211. He could die to the next attack. So I need to kill off this guy before he gets one more attack off. Feral Imp dies. I'm an unhappy guy. Alright, it's not going to be able to kill him off. But, there's another thing I can do. So, did we win at least? No, God, we did not win. We did way less damage. But we leveled up, so that's good news. Leveling up is good news. Our monsters are getting stronger, but we're fighting monsters that are just naturally stronger than us. So what we could do is we can go to equipment. So no, team command. And it's too late. I need. I, I, I forgot how to do it. I think you need to leave the base. I could use healing items outside of battle, but I completely forgot how. All right. Oh, luckily it's this guy. So I'm going to put defense on my feral imp until he gets a heal. Oh, I probably could have killed that guy. Damn. What a shame. All right, and I did kill him, but still defend just in case. And uh, just in case, we're going to use blue medicine on Feral Imp, which I don't know how much points, if any points, that gives us. So let's see. By using a heal, no points are gained. Got it. Let's see if he would have targeted the Imp. Yep, he was going to go after my Imp, so I'm glad I did it. And no damage was taken because of a successful guard. Therefore, we can now go aggressive on the final enemy. Still an unlucky situation to be in, but... It's not the worst. Not the best, but not the worst. We just gotta take out Kyrule and we'll be all set. And uh, thankfully we have plenty of attacks left to do that. Alright, very good. You're guarding, which means I'm not going to attack you. I actually might heal. I need all my attacks to... No, I don't need all my attacks to kill you. Yeah, I'm gonna use another blue medicine. I forgot, blue medicine 7. What the hell? There are 7 blue medicine uses? Why did I assume my opponent only got three? I could have died. Uh, let's let our tank get healed up. We don't want to lose our healer. And now that our healer is healed up, yes, he's just waiting. So he broke his own guard by waiting. We're going to go ahead and break him now. 140 damage, feral limb. As long as we don't get any more misses, which have been wild today. Let's see. Okay, one more attack will do it. Before he gets his final attack off, finish him off. There we go. The first attack... I'm, I'm not even joking. That was only the first attacking force has fallen. And with it, Feral Imp gains. Simon games. Feral Imp's level 5 from that battle. Holy crap. Good for you, Simon. Good for you. That's really good. All right, Simon. I'm going to leave you be for a second. Fizdiz, we're going to actually need you to go aggressive for us. Uh, if we have to fall back to base, Simon can do it with his flying creature. So, Fizdiz is going to be the first one to go on the assault. And Yugi is going to be getting close to our objective, I assume. So, we need to go somewhere in the grass over here. There's a lot of places it could be, um, but just go somewhere in the grass. Oh, I already found it. We're being attacked by roaming monsters. And there they are. Hain Hain, Man Eater Bug, and Mystic Horseman. Obviously, the Hain Hain is not a huge threat, the Man Eater Bug is not a huge threat, but the Mystic Horseman is a straight up threat. Paralysis Scythe. For those of you that are worried, I don't think it paralyzes you, even though that is a thing in this game. Alright, Silver Fang takes the first hit, sadly, but it's fine. Hack Attack! Alright, Hack Attack kind of sucks too. I'm not a happy camper about that. Now, let me change my vision a little bit. I'm going to go after... Well, I assume if we kill the Mystic Horseman, we win the fight, because that's their boss monster. But that's the hardest thing to kill, so I don't know if I can pull it off. Alright, every time we use Flame Gale, the game kind of freaks out, but it's okay. Silver Fang, let's see how much you can do, because you are our new member. I expect you to do less than Black Lamb, but it should still be good. 130, okay, we'll take 130. 
And Celtic Guardian, you are the boss of this group, so let's see how much you can do. Okay, 140. That should do it. If we mix up these attacks together, we should be able to kill the enemy. Alright, Silverfang's already dropping pretty far because they keep focusing him. It's a smart play by the opponent, honestly. I'm, I'm actually impressed. 122 damage, okay. A little bit less, but it still did work. Hmm, Black Lamb Fire Dragon, only 105. Not great, not great. Paralysis Scythe, yeah, that's, that's a slap to the face. 143, beautiful. Yeah, let me get a top-down view going in. Celtic Guardian, your attacks are the most important, so go ahead and knock him down a, ch a chunk. 152 damage, very good. Black Lamp Fire Dragon, your attacks are also important. As you can see, our Black Lamp Fire Dragon actually has three attacks because Yuki is buffing him. So that's pretty helpful. The Mince Mixer. Yeah, stop all the bothering Silverfang, please. Just stop. For the love of God, he's just my pupper. All right, we could take out Mystic Horseman with Silverfang, unless it gets a really low roll on damage. The damage does have a modifier on how much it does. All right, Celtic Guardian, the weakest member here is, you would think Hain Hain, but the man your bug has less HP, so we're going to go after him. See if we can finish him off with some lucky hits or one lucky crit. If we get a crit on Blackland, we probably can kill it. But by killing his boss, we got too many points for them to come back. So hopefully that counts as a good enough victory for us to capture them. Damn, no crit. All right, we're about to get triple mince mixer. Oh, actually, if he would have just guarded three times, we would have lost. Thank God he didn't do that. Unless he kills Silverfang. Hold up. If he kills Silverfang, we're in trouble. Ugh, don't attack Silverfang again. No! Wait a minute. I don't think this worked out. Oh, thank God he wasn't. Uh, Silverfang wasn't worth that much. Okay, that sucks to say out loud. Silverfang still gained experience, but it wasn't much. That victory feels hollow because we lost Silverfang. Luckily, the one monster aboard. Hey, Mystic Horseman has joined. Hain Hain has joined and Maneater Bug. Very good. Mystic Horseman was the best grab there. Um, I need to remember how to use items, so let's see. Go to this, click on the item. Yes, okay, this is how it does. Monster aboard the Hain Hain. I mean the Silver Fang. Silver Fang heal the team. We don't need to be full health, but we need to have some health. Same thing needs to happen with you, buddy. So go ahead and leave the castle. We'll just assume everything's fine. I don't think he's leaving. Okay. Let's try this again. Leave the castle. Good. Items on you. Heal up him. Heal up him. And remember, this is all real-time strategy. You gotta be quick before a battle starts. A battle could start mid-heal and then you don't get the heal off, so that would suck. There we go. So, she's going to be taking on... Eh, Snake Hair is probably the scariest thing there. Granted, the middle guy's leveled up, so maybe he's kind of strong. Take a peek. No items, luckily. So, this guy is Dark King of the Abyss. 1,300 attack. Pretty decent. The Snake Hair is 16. She's buffed. She's supposed to be 1512. And then, Larvae Moth's 500. So, even though she's level 1, she's clearly not. Those stats are not her actual stats. Penguin Soldier. All of my monsters are lucky enough to have multiple attacks. We're going to go after their boss monster because he has a lot of attacks. All right. I love the spinning sword slash. It doesn't do any damage, but it looks really cool. And Penguin Soldier is just fun. All right. Unlike in real Yu-Gi-Oh! where Penguin Soldier is like one of, the most, uh, one of the most haunting things you have to look at. Bouncing back two cards is just annoying. Granted, I am, I am talking from a guy who plays old Yu-Gi-Oh! Not really Yu new Yu-Gi-Oh! And even in new Yu-Gi-Oh, I was using I was using a Penguin Soldier to beat that freaking uh, what was it called? That Gauntlet of Enemies in the end of 5D's World Championship 2009 Stardust Accelerator. God, that's a mouthful. The False Bound Kingdom, Yu-Gi-Oh, Stardust Accelerator World Championship 2009. That's that's a mouthful. I like this one better. But that game was super fun until the Gauntlet, which was like, God damn, this is crazy. And Penguin Soldier helped me take down that Gauntlet. Well, not really. I had a perfect run, and Penguin Soldier was not a part of it, but still. He was in the deck at the time. Stone Eyes. That always makes me think that she does have the freezing effect, and honestly, she might- Did she miss? Is this the first time the enemy missed us? Good job, Fizdiz! Fizdiz is doing great. Inferno Trial is such a cool-looking move. It's a green laser beam. How could you not like that? I love Kamehameha's. And that green one reminds me of freaking, uh... Karnak's Bubble. What's a Karnak? I obviously don't get the reference. Alright, Penguin Soldier, keep spinning and keep slashing. 
The only member of uh, Fizdiz's team that currently does damage is Horn Imp. The rest of them are kind of bad. Stone Eyes again. Oh, boy. We'll be able to take it, though. That's for sure. And as long as we can take it, I'm in a good mood. Horn Imp again. Let's go. Try to get some massive damage on this guy. Before oh, critical hits! Fizdiz is our luckiest character. Now, with the final attacks, we could try to take out Larvae Moth because the, the other one's going to be too strong. But honestly, with our attack stat, we probably can't. Yeah, she's not really no known for killing things. But she killed the boss monster, so I guess I'm wrong about that. And by killing the boss monster, we got a ton of points. Hornim's pretty useful having all those attacks. Did we miss? Eh, that's a shame. I'm not even upset because it was Penguin Soldier. Yeah, victory for Fizdiz. Heck yeah. Don't worry, I'm going to level her up. I want her discount. And she's just a nice character. Always suffers because of Yami, but a nice character nonetheless. Alright, you're already healed. Damn it! I was going to say, you should be going to attack, Yugi. Why aren't you going to attack the enemy? But instead, he's just standing there. Menacingly. Alright, she guarded on the thing I wasn't going to attack anyway. But once Larvae Moss dead, I had to be careful on how I attack. Penguin Soldier, Spinning Sword Slash. There we go. Mm, Larvae Moth's gonna cocoon string us. It could be a problem. Not really. We're so tanky. Even that that freaking whatever his name is. That monster's tanky. Its defense stat is higher than its attack stat. Alright. This won't even kill the enemy though. That's how sad this attack is. I think in the actual card game he has like 650 attack. Which is why he just did 66 damage. But he gets to attack twice in a row. So that's kind of nice. And with that we killed off the Needle Worm. And now we need to wait for her guard to break. So we wait, and we wait. If you have a monster that's strong enough to break someone's guard because they're just overpowering the opponent, then you can go for it. But if you can't break a guard, don't go for it. And it's like, but how do you know if you're strong enough to break a guard? Just think about the monster that you're attacking's defense stat and how big of a, a gap it is between you and your opponent. Did she miss Stone Eyes again? Wow. The first one hit, but that did nothing. Oh my gosh. Fizdiz is unstoppable. She's too strong. Look at this, we're going to cut the head off of Medusa. Alright. Karnak's bubbles. Yes! That's good. That's good, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. <laughs> Alright. I think we'll be able to kill her, but it will be close just need this to do because 750 damage means we do about 80 yeah we do about 80 damage because penguin soldier's base attack is 750 rounded up to 80 they're actually pretty good at making the game do that where like the stats are just divide like a hundred or a thousand i mean a hundred yeah divide like a hundred and she lives with 86 but fizz is gonna finish her off no problem however because this is real-time strategy i need to get to yugi quickly which I can't really... I could do it if I was doing the other mode. If you press Z, there's another type of mode you can do to move your characters around. But I don't like using it, so... Instead, I'm... Damn it. <laughs> I'm just too slow. I'm just too slow. I blame myself. This does just end the battle. Finish her off real quick with a horn imp. There we go. So, uh, like I said, this is the first real battle in the game, which is why we had to use healing items, which is why we struggled in our first fight. Hell, even the wild uh, monsters were kind of scary. She made it to level 4, but none of her monsters leveled up again? Damn. Fizdiz levels up pretty quickly. Which is good, because that means she's gonna... Oh, we got a blue medicine for capturing this one. Alright, Fizdiz, since you're so strong, why don't you move over here? Although, I don't think you have any items, so it might be a bad idea. I didn't give her... Did I give her a healing item? I did not have one to give. Yeah, she'll die in the next fight, so I can't, I can't let her do it. Alright, Feral Imp, go over here. I believe this is the main enemy base. It is. 100% that's the main enemy. This guy's pretty strong. I'm, I'm probably going to need him to be protected. Oh, yeah. Yugi, go capture this. Jesus Christ. You need to go help Fizdiz with the final guy over here. We want to capture all bases before we actually go in. I'm going to let Fizdiz lose a monster but or two. But she's going to help tear down this guy's uh, facilities. So that should help us out a bit. Yugi, you almost there? Okay, good. Ooh, this guy has some interesting monsters. Three-headed Guido, Dark Rabbit. Freaking Pegasus card right there. And the one in the middle I don't really recognize. Poison Twin Claws. I don't believe it has a, a ability to poison yet. 
So they really like my Silver Fang. What's up with that? All right, any healers? No healers. It's Midnight Fiend. Okay, this card sucks. Yeah. So their boss monster sucks, and their side monsters are actually pretty good. The like, three headed Guido got buffed. That's its stats are 1200, 1400, and Dark Rabbit is what it should be. So three headed Guido needs to die, and so does the boss monster because the boss monster is weak, and we might as well just finish it. Okay. There we go. Dark Rabbit's guarding. Don't even try to fight that. Oh, he's got that Razzle Dazzle. Stop attacking Silver Fang. Leave my pupper alone. I already had a monster reborn him once. Do not make me do it again. I swear to God. And I can't do it again. You only get one monster reborn per fight. That's not good. All right, Blackland Fire Dragon, you may be slow, but you hit hard. And you like to make the game, like, freak out a little bit, which makes me freak out. All right, more Razzle Dazzle. Thank you. Hit Blackland. He could take the hit better. Technically, he's not supposed to, though. Silverfang's supposed to have more defense than him. Poison Twin Claws. Celtic Guardian's our boss, so if he attacks Celtic, he could take the hit no problem. Oh, yeah. That's nothing. Celtic Guardian, I want you to uh, start working on that Guido. I was going to finish off the guy, but honestly, Celtic Guardian's attack should go for max damage. And let Silverfang finish off the guy. It's a wild Sonic Storm! I do like that you could hear the roar. And there we go. Spinning Dynamite Punch. Don't do it. Ah, you dick. I actually did decent damage. we got to watch out for that. So you see how Dark Rabbit has 1,100 attack and he did 111 damage? That's The, the modifier usually is around that. Blackland Fire Dragon does 150 damage, and he did 149. I, I mean, a 1500 attack. He only did 149 damage there because the opponent had good defense. Celtic Guardian's buffed right now because he's high level, so he should be doing about the same as Blackland. Yeah, we definitely won this. Ooh, we did not win this fight, did we? It looks like we did, but Silver Fang could cost us the fight. All right, we can win this fight if we kill off the three-headed Guido and he doesn't guard. Guarding will give him good points, and I don't want to see that happen. Alright, this is the attack for the kill. We get the kill, no guard is possible. Oh yeah, there we go. This guy's nothing compared to Yugi. Celtic Guardian reaches level 4, Yugi reaches level 5, Silver Fang reaches level 2. Okay, very good. We need to level up Silver Fang, I forgot, they're still level 1. They need levels. And everyone else, I'm getting a little worried about her. I need to pull her back after this first fight. Ooh, this guy has actual attack. Okay, every one of this guy's forces have good attack. Bad defense, but good attack. So, he has the dinosaur monster Urubi, which is a strong monster at 1500 attack. And you're already dead, aren't you? You're about to die. And Tiger Axe Guard and Stuffed Animal does big fight to finish off my Karnak. All right, well, that sucks. I think that was my healer. Oh, wait, she didn't have a healer. That was the whole problem. So, yeah, these guys are attackers. 1,200 attack for Stuffed Animal. 1,300 attack for the boss monster, Ti well, the leader monster, Tiger Axe. And Urbi has a 1,500 attack stat. But as you can see, their defenses are bad except for the boss monster. So, let's take advantage of that. Urbi is the threat, so we need to try and take it out, even though we have one less force. We do lose three attacks thanks to him taking out Karnak, or whatever his real name is. Luckily, we still have Horn Imp, and Horn Imp does good damage. Not good enough, obviously. Penguin Soldier and Horn Imp are going to work together to take out the dinosaur. Yeah, pretty good. Big Bite's coming in. Not Bug Bite, stop thinking about Pokemon. And yes, I'm talking to myself, because that's all I can think about right now. Irby's Wild Bite, that's the real problem. Ooh, Penguin Soldier does not have a lot of HP. And Tiger Grasp, that move's pretty strong too. Yep, already running into some trouble. Urubi only has one attack left. Luckily, this guy has low low on attacks. He's good at a lot of things, but he's low on attacks. So we got that advantage. Wild Bite kind of sucks. One more Wild Bite would take us out with a good roll, so we need to kill Urubi right now. All right, 81 damage. Horn Imp go in. Very good. They could probably do it. Yeah, it's it's going to be close, but they could probably do it if they just attack together. 73. It's it's really going to be close. Come on, Horn Imp. The modifier has to be high, not low. Yes, his low... Oh, barely. His low defense cost him the monster. Yes, we... We lost barely. Come on. 
Oh, Connie Kabuto. That's why I forgot his name. His name is Connie Kabuto. Or Canny Kabuto. All right, you need to... No, I need to tell her to not go back in. I need to hold her back. She already lost a monster. She doesn't need to go aggressive anymore. Speaking of losing monsters, all you got left is a rabbit. Silly rabbit. You're gonna die. All right, I'm pretty sure Silver Fang can take two attacks unless it's a crit. If he gets a crit, we'll have a real problem this fight. Celtic Guardian's Fairy Blade Slash is really good. Yeah, Celtic Guardian's one of the best starting monsters you can get. He's so solid at everything. He gets a lot of attacks, 1400 attack, 1200 defense base. It's just a solid monster. And I love any video game where I could say Celtic Guardian is a solid monster. All right, Silver Fang's even usable, so that's pretty cool. Silver Fang's advantage is that he's a monster that gets tons of attacks. So he's good at using items and good at just, you know, if you need extra points for guarding or stuff like that, he's helpful. And his attacks don't do bad damage. They, they do damage. All right, let's see how much he does. Blackland Fire Dragon takes the hit. My monsters have dropped quite a bit, but we are ready. Now that we've defeated this force and the other force is about to fall, we could start going after the boss. There we go. Everyone's leveling up. Yugi, in yep, Yugi included. Very good. All right, Yugi, this is all well and good, but you take that. We got Legendary Sword. We could use that on Celtic Guardian. You need to fall back. Thank you for all your help, hard work. Fall back all the way over here. Don't even don't even go back to a base. Just fall back. Yugi, you... Oh, there's a shop here. Hold up. What's the shop sell? Whoa, okay. This is like really high tier stuff for the future. I mean, I could buy one of these, but that's expensive. Violet Crystal... Uh, increase the action points of Knight Adept Monsters. That could be really good. You know what? I'll buy one just in case I need these in the future. Um, but they're expensive as hell. I didn't think he... Oh, I should have just brought Vizdiz over here. That would have saved some money. That's on me. Damn, you're fast. Yeah, forget Simon's flying guy. Makes him super fast. And now that he doesn't have to deal with an Urubi, he could definitely win this fight. Not like he couldn't before, but it might have cost him a monster before. All right, Tiger Axe, you may be the tank of the team, but you're going down. I bet Joey Wheeler misses his Tiger Axe. What are you doing with it? Yeah. Give it back to Joey. Oh, and for those of you that are worried, like, wow, you only have three people in your army. Don't worry, some of your favorite characters are going to be joining my army. And they're going to have some of their most iconic monsters. And those iconic monsters are going to actually be good. Because uh, in this game, all that matters is stats and abilities. Which you would think is all that matters in regular Yu-Gi-Oh, but no. All that matters in regular Yu-Gi-Oh is combos and special effects. Hey, look, we got a crit. And let's see there. Alright, let's go with Rodin Sword. There we go. Guarding. Okay, since he guarded, just wait a bunch of times. I'm not even joking, just wait a bunch. I don't even know how much you should wait. But I'm just going to wait a bunch, and that seems like enough. Okay, go ahead and break that that guy. And his guard's not up. Because he got sent back, his guard wasn't up. So yeah, if the final move your opponent does is guard, just wait a ton of turns. And then his guard will be broken because a full, a full rotation has passed. If you want to feel extra safe, do what I just did and wait a ton of turns. You don't lose anything for waiting, by the way. I don't think you do anyway. All right, there we go. Skull Spark for game. See, Zombie Warrior's really nice. All of these monsters are really nice. And that's the second to last castle taken. Nothing left but the boss, and we've done it. So, boss guy, let's see how you deal with our boss guy. Yugi, you ready to fight? I know I need to heal up your forces, but... Oh, wow, I did get you to move out of the base. Good. Blue medicines for everybody. Uh, especially you, Silver Fang. They're going to bully you. I only got two medicines left. I want to save them just in case. We don't know who's going to really need them. And even though I don't want you to fight... Oh, wait. There's a shop here, too. What the hell? I'm not used to all the shops being... Holy shit. Hold the phone, Yugi. Hold the goddamn... I wasted my money. Fizdiz. Yo. You. Get over here. Get, get over there. You. Get ready. Because if we're wasting time, his forces might start respawning. Which means I need someone to take on the forces. <sighs> yep. 
This is a watchtower for supervising farmers. It's a telltale sign of a repressive government. I would have said oppressive, but yes. Yes, you are right. All right. I didn't know that we'd be able to buy those items. Now, I believe there is a, co a Konami code I could do. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. If you do a Konami code, you could literally just get yourself more money. I'm not even joking. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Start. No, I messed it up. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Wait, is it up, up, down, down, left, right, B, A, start. I did it the first time. I heard the, I heard the guy say Yu-Gi-Oh. I need to watch. I need to go in here where I can watch my money. All right. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Didn't work. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. I definitely did it right the first time. Start. Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and buy some stuff. So all of this stuff is really useful. I would say legendary swords and beast fangs are the most useful this early in the game. Luckily, her discount is pretty impressive. Like, it, it knocked this down from 500 to 375. That is really nice. Book of Secret Arts is a little expensive. It is a little expensive. All right, if I could just remember. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. I, I literally did it on, I heard him say Yu-Gi-Oh. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Okay, whatever. If I forgot how to do it in the moment, like literally in the moment, then I shouldn't be cheating in the first place. Let's just go. But they put the Konami code in the game. How can I not use it? I heard him say it. Okay, apparently I just have to do it faster. I heard him say it. Ooh, this guy has good monsters. Hold up. Hold up. Real fight alert. Real fight alert. All right, he's got the crushing axe of the axe soldier. That's another Joe. All these cards are like, honestly, every card I'm seeing here is a Joey card. And they keep bullying my dragon. That guy did way too much to my dragon. So, looking at his monsters, he has legendary sword. He's at 2,300 attack. Holy crap. He needs to be killed. That axe soldier is too strong. We need to kill him. He already had a base 1700. Putting him at 2300 was just brutal. It's just brutality at this point. His armored lizard is also really strong, so we gotta watch out. And our Blackland Fire Dragon has bad defense, so that's not gonna help. Um, I could guard, to be honest, but that's for cowards. Attack! Flame Gale! Oh, crap. Should have guarded. I'm about to pay for it. I'm about to pay for it. If I don't get a new turn soon, I'm about to pay for it. Oh, thank God it was... Of all people, it was Silver Fang. Silver Fang, heal your friend. He needs you. Oh, thank God. He's waiting. Oh, God, he's waiting. It's like, why is that scary? You don't understand. That's the strongest attack they have. And he's waiting to see which one's more worth attacking. All right, Celtic Guardian, you're our strongest guy. Try to take him out. Critical hit! Yeah, the Celtic Guardian comes in clutch. Die! Celtic double crit! Yeah! Double critical hit to save the day. Um, we might be able to take out the Mountain Warrior if everyone works together. He has good defense, though, so we gotta watch out. Armored Lizard's too strong. It has 1,500 attack, 1,200 defense. No, not to mention its high HP stat in this game. 950. Yeah. Blackland Fire Dragon, get your revenge. Oh my gosh, I am, I am completely shocked by this. Ow! What a dick! All right, well, we won the shit out of that battle. Like, I'm embarrassed for the guy. But now that I got the Konami code to work again, I'm going to hold back and, you know, I'm going to actually do the Konami code and get me some items. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Start. No? Okay, so what? I'm only good. You know what it is? It's because I'm using this tiny GameCube controller. Even though I'm emulating the game, I am using GameCube, so. But look, I got money, right? How much money do I get? 500? Ugh. I'll buy in our book Secret Arts, even if I don't have a monster for it. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Oh, there we go. Look, I got it again. Lucky me. Legendary Swords, yes. 
up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B8. Yeah! Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B8. Ah, it's not working every time. Boost fangs! Boost fangs! Sorry, guys. These items are super good. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B8. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B8. Okay, whatever. I guess that's enough. So, um, another thing about the items is you get to keep them between each playthrough. Because right now, we're doing Yugi Story Mode. If you watch the beginning of this Let's Play, there are other Story Modes to do. Like Kaiba's, which I know everyone's excited for. You guys probably wanted me to pick Kaiba's first, but I love, I love Yugi's team more than Kaiba's. Even though Kaiba's team is really fun, um, Yugi's team is... I just... I love them. I love all the monsters from Yugi's time period. Or, from Yugi's deck. So, it's not gonna happen. Alright. Time to stop your oppression. Take out Mountain Warrior. And no, you can't equip items mid-battle. Which is why I didn't try to equip Legendary Sword to my Celtic Guardian. Alright. Silver Wolf, take out that Mountain Warrior so he has no attacks. And finally, we could take out the boss. Wow, a crit. Now, finally, we could take out the boss of this area. This is what you get for being oppressive to those farmers. Or, sorry, repressive to those farmers. Suffer the consequences. The resistance is here to save the day. The farmers are going to thank me, and then I'm going to be like, farm for me. Don't worry, I won't have a watchtower. But I do want you to farm for me. And I will be here once a month. And you will pay taxes. But we're not going to call them taxes. We're going to call them gratitude. <laughs> Your gratitude must be paid each month. Alright, Silver Fang, go. Alright. Celtic Guardian, I don't know if your attack stat's high enough because he has 1,200 defense, but see if we can finish this fight. Just barely, he lives with 5 HP! God freaking damn it. Yugi hits level 7, though. That's a good sign. Alright. This fight is over. A 5 HP monster is not going to save the day. Celtic Guardian is running in there. This is what you get. What's your name again? I forgot your name. It's, it starts with an S. I know that much. Sebekel. Yes, Sebekel. You were a strong force. You're le especially your Axe Raider. That thing was strong. But I cheated. Eh. I used the Konami code to give myself money. For the next fight. I didn't cheat against you. I just straight up beat you. There we go. Victory! Silver Fang and Black Lion hit level 5, Celtic Guardian hits level 7, and Yugi evolves by hitting level 8, which means all of his stats go up, which means our monster stats go up. Our HP goes up, our attack goes up, and, more importantly, our amount of attacks go up. Ah, you'll pay for that. I was going to let you live, but not now. I already beat you. It's Tristan Taylor! Yeah! Yugi, it's you! Oh, Tristan, what are you doing here? Trapped in the game just like you. Joey and the others are here too. I was just, I was with them a while ago. Kaiba's working for the Empire. Oh, shit. You guys lost to Kaiba. Oh my god, Kaiba defeated you. Yep, I'm not sure why he's here, but he is. Anyway, I came to the island to organize my own resistance army. I should have known that you'd be a lead in leading the resistance. I don't know. We all got separated when we went underground with the uh, gathering followers. Okay, so they're gathering followers for the resistance. Turns out I'm the leader of the resistance. And it turns out all of my friends that are from the human world... Ooh, red medicine's busted. That's the one that you only get three of. It's like a full heal. Um, That's just great. We got Tristan to join our army. And we're moving in. We're almost to Sugat. We're getting very close to it. We're on the Vaxi Island. That's what it's called. But Capolia, ruler of Sugat, has reestablished order in the island capital and plans to subdue the uh, resistance. He has his trusted Marshal Granis in charge of a large force. Okay, so we gotta take on Granis in the central part of this, uh, this island. This large unit to hunt us down is gonna be really rough. The Imperial forces don't consider us a serious threat yet and are not being uh, as cautious as they should be. Therein lies the opportunity. What do you mean? There is a fort along the central way, and the enemy plans to move its main force there on its way to Sugat. The fort is completely... Ooh, we can attack it with fire. This is a good plan. We're actually going to use strategy next episode, but this episode is over. As you can see, Tristan Taylor has two, uh, has two things. One, he has Gazelle, the king of the mythical beasts, which is so cool. He has the giant soldier of stone, one of the best tanks in the game. Sadly, he has the foreign soldier, swordsman, swordsman from a foreign land. That card's really bad in this game. And he has the ability constructor, which is really, really good. So, 
I'll see you all next time when we use Tristan in our army in the attack on strategy. Bye-bye. <laughs>